let's see. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 14th of 2018. And I wanted to update you on, let's see, this monitor that, if you've been watching the last few videos, this is the monitor that I bought. This is my 4K monitor, 27 inch. And if you've watched the last few, I've been letting you kind of know what's going on. I now have it set in 4K mode. I had it in 4K mode for the first 24 hours. It took me 24 hours to get it uh, going. Um, and I, then I've had it in 4K mode. And then I had it uh, with a uh, Asus 27-inch monitor next to, you know, next to it, um, you know, using both monitors hooked to the computer. Uh, then I went to the LG ultra-wide, which is still here, but I'm going to move it, I think. And uh, wanted to, I'm just looking at the bottom right-hand corner, to, I get notices there, I hope nothing inappropriate pops up. Uh, the problems that I was having with two monitors, you know, ch the check, the text on one screen, you know, the 4K screen, it gets, is too small, and I adjusted it, and it adjusted the one on the other side, and I went through, I went all through that through in the other videos that if wanted to tell you, though, that I finally I realized that the uh, utility that comes with it, this on-screen control, that's this here, it, well, I knew it, but I just, it lets you go through here, and so right now you see this is set on LG Ultra HD, so that's the 4K monitor. Now, with the four, um, with the LG wide monitor, that would show up. And so, with these controls, with using this control, you can um, control things for each monitor provided it's an LG monitor, you know, two LG monitors. And uh, so that works better. But, you know, it just, if I had two LG monitors that were 4K next to each other, it'd be great. Although then I'm not sure how it would show down in the thing. Would it say, you know, LG Light, uh, LG Ultra HD 1 or LG 2, you know, something? So uh, I think I'm just going to work with, and if you watch my last video, I said I'm just going to put this 4K monitor into uh, 19, you know, 80 by 1020, and just keep it that. It's not worth messing with the uh, thing. But uh, with this utility, I think uh, So now, of course, this is just adjusting this one, and we have uh, picture mode custom. I, th I don't know if I can click it into, I'll put it into cinema mode right now. Well, I have to say, well. So uh, then you have for split screen, we have all these choices. So as you can see, I have uh, the three split screen cho selected, so. Up there, I've got my uh, video, and I have two video inputs, both USB. Uh, let me switch to, as you can see, that's uh, the Brio, which is about $190 USB, which is a lot of money for a USB webcam, but it is 4K. I'm not recording in 4K with it right now, but I have, and you will have seen some 4K videos. And as you can see, this is a C9, 
30E, I believe, which is, but really all of their Logitech USB first class um, USB uh, cameras are good. But I mean, if you get a $19 one or a $29 one, you know, you have to get the C920, the C930E, or, you know, you don't really need the, you don't need to pay $200 for USB webcam, but I, I did. Uh, so here we have, you know, you have the screen settings that you can use. And the settings over here are where you apply. And you see, because I'm using 4K, but I have this set at uh, 150, I believe. It's kind of hard to see. These other things work out okay, but these control boxes don't really adjust. So if you have something that's, uh, you may have something really small in that regard. But I've got this set for 150%. And now that I know about this, I think this is going to be okay. And... Uh, I think that's about it. Is this sitting in this thing quite right? Oh, I see there's a little bit over. This one here is hogging some of the, maybe I can move this a little bit. Nope, because it's set. I'll just slide that over and make you stay in your spot. <clears throat> so this is the monitor. It's a good price for a 4K monitor. Um, So here is, um, you can do, go to, you know, YouTube and do uh, 4K videos, or you can just look, but you can do a search for 4K and there'll be a bunch that uh, pop up. Now, since I'm not recording this in 4K, uh, you're not going to get the, but let me just show you what this looks like. This is uh, somebody's 4K video from the Andes. I think we're talking about Ecuador. So um, let's, and we'll do it in full screen. Not going to do very much of it because. Don't want to do too much of it. Somebody will file a copyright complaint or something. So I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll put the link below for this. I probably will. Okay. Or because you can just do a search on, on, on YouTube for 4K if you want to see 4K, if you have a 4K monitor. If not, it looks good. At you know, 4K video looks really good, much better at uh, 1080 by you know, 1080p. So uh, here's another one. This is Italy. better stop that because they got a thing right up there saying to purchase, you know, the, but I just, I think a few seconds of it should be fair. So, um, there again is the monitor. And two, you can do a search for, um, did I show, yeah, I, wait a minute, I don't think I did show that, did I? I must have deleted it. Oh, no, here it is down here. Uh, here are, um, you can do a search, you know, for 4K on Hulu, 4K on Netflix, 4K, you know. So this is a series of unfortunate events. I've watched um, both seasons of it. I really like it. I never heard of it. I never heard of the book. 
never heard of uh, the writer or anything. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because I didn't go to school recently or I don't know. All I know from school is, you know, Dick and Jane books. I went to Catholic school too. They wouldn't have had uh, money for and plus it was a long time ago. I guess I could do a search and see when this was written and who the author is. But here are other uh, Netflix 4K uh, that you can watch. By the way, with Netflix, uh, you have to pay a little bit extra. I think it's only 2 or $3 extra in order to get 4K video. You could watch this video in 10, you know, 1080p or whatever your whatever your monitor or your TV set's able to do. But in order to watch it in 4K, I forget what I pay. Not very much. And plus two, uh, three or four people can be watching here in the, um, I guess we're like an average household. Everybody's sitting at their computer. I think the only difference is we don't text each other or... I sometimes forward an email, which I don't think the other person reads, but um, so I don't know a bunch of, you know, I just, uh, but you can look down the list <clears throat> looking for something that jumps out at me that I'm watching. I may have already gone past it. Netflix original that's in 4K. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't watched. I think I did watch Mark uh, Marco Polo. Not all of it. Just, you know, one or two episodes or something. And I think I, I, of course, I didn't watch it in 4K because I didn't have 4K then. I did watch the siege, siege of Chapitalville or whatever. That's an Irish, if, I'm, if that's what I'm thinking of, a, you know, it's a true story in Irish uh, peacekeeping force was down in Africa someplace and ran into some problems. It was a good... Uh, Good video, but of course I didn't watch it in 4K. Okay, I think um, I think that's it. I've been blogging since 1982, and this is a new blog I've been messing with. Nobody goes there. Not even recommending that you go there, but. Uh, just wanted to update you on this 4K. So what I'm going to do, I I did have, I still have right here. Uber just uploaded a video. I've got to fix that thing. That's going to pop up sometime with a few lines from a personal message or something. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to just have this 4K and try that. Just pay attention to the 4K monitor and use it, get to know it. But if you know me, I may have another monitor sitting here next to it, or I may have reset this thing to just using 1080p size. Thank you very much for watching.